Hi everyone, welcome back to another Eyes on Nature video. My name is Lauren Pryor with the Environmental Learning Centers of Connecticut. I'm here today at the Barnes Nature Center where the trails are open. Uh, we're open seven days a week, sunrise to sunset, so come on down, take a hike. Uh, and we do have a special guest today, Kevin Estella, who's going to be sharing with us all different uses of the walking stick and how you can utilize them on your walks today. Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Estella. I am a lifelong uh, fan of the Barnes Nature Center and that's actually where I am today. I'm also a high school history teacher here in town, the owner of Estella Wilderness Education, the founder of the Estella Wilderness Education Fund that sends underprivileged children to the summer camp programs of the Environmental Learning Center and a outdoor survival instructor. What I want to share with you is literally the first lesson that my dad taught me when I was just a little kid hiking on these very trails. And that lesson was to grab a stick. Now, this is something you can share with any kid, and it's a very simple lesson and it has a lot of different practical purposes. So the reason why my dad told me to grab a stick was, in the Philippines where he grew up, you needed a stick to literally beat the bushes to make sure that there was nothing that could jump out at you and potentially hurt you. Well, that's not so much the case here, but it is good practice to have a walking stick. Now, I know what you're thinking, what's the big deal with a stick? Well, a walking stick has a lot of purposes. Number one, you can use that walking stick for support, right? And if you're climbing with one or two sticks, you'll find that a walking stick will actually take a lot of the stress off of your legs, making the hike a little bit more enjoyable. Furthermore, that walking stick, if you decide to do so, can be marked with a permanent marker in different inch increments that will allow you to measure various things along the trail. So let's say that you are a naturalist and you're looking for a particular animal and you know that their gait pattern is a certain distance, I'm able to measure that with my walking stick. One of the things that you'll notice I did with this walking stick is I just put a copper end cap on it with just a little bit of glue and a single screw. Okay, that's gonna prevent the walking stick from fraying. Uh, it's gonna prevent it from taking a lot of the impact and getting damaged. This walking stick I've had for close to eight years. It's a piece of hop horn beam, and uh, it's one of the ironwoods that we have here in New England. Another thing that I can do with this walking stick is I can use it with my shelter to prop up one corner of a tarp, right? To give me a little bit more living space. So during the daytime, if I wanna see around me, let's say that it's raining, I can prop up my shelter, okay? And at nighttime, I can put it down. Now, I can also use that walking stick like my dad did to poke at different things uh, and for protection if need be, let's say worst case scenario that ever came up, which again, I highly doubt it will here. Walking sticks can either be very economical, right? Something that you find dead and down. I wouldn't recommend cutting live trees, especially on a nature preserve, or you can purchase the ones that are a little bit more fancy, okay, that are adjustable. These are great for traveling because they can take down pretty easily. Okay, and this can go right into your suitcase. Uh, if you are going to go with that second route, a walking stick that is manufactured like this, you'll find that they often have other features that are really desirable. Some walking sticks have this end cap that you can remove. And if you have a camera or if you have a set of binoculars, you can use this to steady it as a monopod, right? What I tend to do with this walking stick that's been pretty much everywhere with me, I wrap a little bit of duct tape around the handle because you know what, duct tape is one of those magical, magical things you can pack into the woods and you'll find a million and one uses for it. So that's a real simple trick is find a walking stick. You will never know where you're gonna need it. Uh, you may, if you're camping in bear country, you may need it to push up that bear bag higher in the air. You may need your walking stick to retrieve something that's just out of the way uh, if it were to fall into a creek. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, and I'm bringing these up from experience, and I'm telling you, it will increase your uh, the enjoyment and the pleasure that you have hiking on these trails here. So, very simply, grab a stick before you go into the woods. Um, you never know where you're gonna need it. It's a lesson that I picked up many years ago, and I'm happy to share it with you. So get out on those trails and enjoy your hike. 